Yo, what's good, people? I'm your boy, Authentic973. I'm your bullet past 57, and I'm back with man NFL 16 on the XB1. We back with some more Chicago Bears franchise. You guys been asking for it, so I'm going to deliver. This week right here is week four versus the Oakland Raiders. Let's see. I'm showing you guys that we lost the previous game to the Seattle Seahawks by a huge margin. Let's get into this game, though. Let's get into this game. I, I'm thinking that... I'm thinking that we can come out here with this victory. You see Mike Singletary, some of his uh some of his goals, season goals and stuff, some of his goals this week, some of Alshon Jeffrey goals this week that we have to try and accomplish. But this week right here, I'm thinking we can come out here and get a solid win, you know what I mean? Get pretty much get evened up during the regular season right here at a two and two record. I wanna know if you guys like how I'm doing it. If you guys like that, I'm playing the game, simming the game, playing the game, simming the game, because I see a lot of people on YouTube. I mean, they, they like 16, 15, and 0. And I mean, I think if I was to play every game, I think I could win damn near every game. You know, playing this mode. But I don't want to do that. I kind of want to make it more realistic so I can get more real draft picks. I don't want to make crazy ass trades. You know what I mean? Where I could, you know, trade a guy and get their first round pick and get Mariota and all. I don't want to do that. So I want to know if you guys enjoying how I'm doing it so far. As you see, Derek Carr. His stats, Raiders, Oakland Raiders went out there and they got the ball first. Let's see how they start off their drive. But let me know in the comment section down below if you guys like how I'm doing it by playing the game and simming the game. Let me know. But as you see, they come out. They go play action. Derek Carr standing tall in the pocket trying to get some pressure on him. And he's going to almost decide to run, but he changed his mind. He threw it out of bounds to Amari Cooper, and that's an incomplete pass. So, second and ten. I'm liking how my defense is looking right now. You know my defense is like a 63, and we suck. Derek Carr drops back to throw. Tried to deliver a little bit of a blitz over there. Was able to get a sack right there. That's a sack for my defensive end. I think that was my defensive end on my outside linebacker. But we was able to force them to punt. It's 4th and 12. 4th and 12. You know they got a pretty good punter in that dude, King. He has a very strong leg. He's going to kick it back there. I think that's Eddie Royal back there. Eddie Royal going to get it. Going to try and get a return. Try to bounce it to the outside. Couldn't quite get there. And we almost at the 50-yard line. As you see, we get some confidence. You know what I mean? It's good to build that team confidence. I like those Bears jerseys. I decided to change them up and rock those joints for this game right here. You see color stats on the season. Five touchdowns, three interceptions, almost seven 700 yards. And he got... A pretty good completion percentage at about 63%. But anyway, let's see if we can get in this end zone on this first drive. We're going to try and establish the run. We're going to give it to Forte. Forte breaking tackles and was able to get a positive gain of about five right there. I'm liking, I'm liking that, Forte. So it's second and five right here. Color going to drop back to throw. Going to deliver a strike across the middle. And that's a first down, folks. I think that was Alshon Jeffrey with the catch right there. Beautiful catch, Alshon. First and ten here. I kind of want to take it back to the ground. I want to. I want this season to ride on Forte's shoulders, pause. But I want this season to go. You know, I want Forte to be the workhorse back that he is in this mode for me. I want him to lead the league in rushing. And I want him to be a big factor in our offense because I don't want to put it in Cutler hands. Y'all already know all that about Cutler. As you see, we pounded up the gut again with Forte. For another positive gain of five. I'm liking what I'm seeing from my offensive line. Which we are going to have to address in the offseason. We are going to have to, you know, pick up some better offensive linemen. Forte trying to bounce it to the outside. Kind of slow. But he was able to pick up the first down and get in the green zone at about the two or the three yard line. So I'm liking that right there. First and goal. Going to go play action. Going to deliver a strike right there to, who was that? Uh, Kevin White. And Kevin White going to do his dance on that hole. He's so excited to get in the end zone. I'm liking what I'm saying. We up 7 nothing. Chicago Bears. Let's see what the Raiders come out and do. So it's third and two right here. Raiders going to go re... I mean, oh, everybody goes re-option on the Bears when I use them. Like, is, is the Bears the read option team? Like, is they the team to try to read option on? But anyway... It's first and ten right here. Y'all remember Carson Palmer was going ham, running the ball. As you see, the Bears going to take a shot right there. And, oh, my God, Streeter burnt the crap out of Allen Ball. Ball didn't stand a chance, and Carr delivered a strike. And it's a 7-7 seven, seven game, folks. I mean, that was a beautiful pass by Carr right there. We're going to give it back to Forte. Try and run, man. I noticed when I was running to the left side of the – the left side of the offensive line, Khalil Mack and those boys was not bullshitting. They was they, they was playing. So I decided to take a shot on second and eight. And look at Kevin White. Kevin White said, I'm gonna be a 
I'm going to be the best rookie wide receiver in the league, Amari Cooper. Get off my field. And I'm liking what I'm seeing from Kevin White right there. He gets his second touchdown of the day. And we up again. And I did end up missing the extra point. Crazy. Chicago is mad windy. I didn't notice the win and I missed the extra point. But as you see, it's third and ten. And uh, errant pass. Out of bounds by a car, and they're going to take their points. They're going to take the field goal, fourth and ten. And we already know Jano going to hit this. Jano got one of the strongest legs in the league. Been doing it for years. As you see, he got the curve because the wind is so crazy out here today. He got the ball to curve in, and he was able to make that field goal. Now, as you see, it's third and ten. They got the ball back. I know y'all like what happened. So they did end up stopping me. I did punt, and they was driving on your boy, and your boy is down here. Trying to hold them to another field goal, and I was able to accomplish that. It's 4th and 13, and Jano's going to come right back out again with another field goal and going to attempt to tie that tie the game, and he does. 13-13. They did end up stopping your boy. It wasn't a pretty job, so I just cut it out. But anyway, so you see, we was able to drive down before the half, right before the half, and the first half ended, and we was able to get us a field goal out of the situation, and right before the clock ended, and we was able to go up 16-13. So as you see, it's first and 10. We've been driving. We received the ball. We're going to give it back to Forte. Forte, run the ball. I'm liking what I'm seeing for Matt Forte. Look at Forte. I'm liking how he pounding the rock out there. So as you see, it's second and three. Going to try and establish the run some more. Because they, you know what I mean, kind of, it's kind of been killing them. Kind of been killing the Raiders. We just want to stay with the run. Stay with the run. Try and catch them with the play action. First and ten. You see, we want to take a little, try and take a little shot right here. Let's see what we do. We drop back to throw with color. Going to deliver a strike over there to Alshon Jeffrey. Alshon was trying to get to the pylon. Couldn't quite there, get there. Got stopped at the six. So here we go. First and go. Color goes, going to hand it to Forte. Forte got tackled again. Was able to get to about the four-yard line, gain it two. I want Forte to punch this in. Let's see what we decide to do right here. Second and goal. Gonna we'll give it back to Forte. Forte right up the gut. Getting big on him. And he trucked everybody and was able to punch it in the end zone. I'm liking what I'm seeing, Forte. Beautiful drive by the Chicago Bears right there to go up 23-13. We up 10. We, I feel like if we can get one stop, I means it's plenty of time. But if we can get one stop, I'm feeling like we're sitting in a good position. They go, I think that's read option or a draw. I don't know what that was. But it was a beautiful uh, run. And they was able to pick up six. I don't know where Latavius Murray is. Maybe he's hurt, but they got this guy Taiwan Jones in there. And I'm like, where is Murray? I ain't complaining because, I mean, I didn't want to see Murray anyway. This dude Taiwan Jones was running on us, so I can imagine what Murray was doing. I mean, what Murray would have done. Excuse me. But, as you see, they able to pick up first downs. Man, our defense is so bad. They still running Jones. I was trying to kill that like guy. For whatever reason, they would not give me the big hit animation. We don't really have a hitter out there at safety. I mean, our defense is just terrible, man. I can't state that. I thought it was going to be another run, and they caught your boy. They kind of routed your boy up right there. That was my responsibility to get that guy. And he kind of got routed up by Bob Raider tight end. But as you see, it's second and six. I'm expecting him to take a shot. You see me switch to the defensive lineman. They deliver a nice pass. Uh, I think that's their tight end again. And, I mean, the tight end is, has been killing us. He has been killing us. Third and 12 right here. Let's try and hold them to another field goal. Car drops back to throw. Tight end again. I mean, they've been, they've been, they tight end has been eating out there. You see, it's October. So we have one of the pink, the breast cancer awareness. And we're going to hold them. And it's fourth and five. And Jano going to come out to try and kick another field goal to try and cut the lead to seven. Jano with that big leg. And he was able to get it to curve again. And pause. That didn't sound right. But he was able to, uh, with the win, you know able to make that field goal so as you see they held your boy to fourth and six i'm going to be smart and punt i didn't want to give him a short field so we're going to punt and try and play some more defense let's see what we do you see it's the fourth quarter and amari cooper ended up muffing the punt and we got the ball in a in great field position they was able to sack your boy and we're going to take another field goal i mean robbie gould and janikowski has been playing huge been playing huge look at forte forte has been running the rock well. And I'm like, you know what? Let me just play smart and take the points. So as you see, we up 10 again. Car drops back to throw. He's rolling out. I was trying to deliver some pressure. That's the interception, folks. I'm trying to bounce it to the outside and take that to the house. Couldn't quite get there. Let's see if we can get a touchdown now. 
a touchdown will put these guys away because I think the Raiders feel like they still have a shot to win this game. So let's try and establish the run right here. We're going to give it to Forte. Forte, run that thing. Forte bouncing it to the outside. Stay in bounds. Let's keep that clock ticking for real. Let's get that clock. Let's keep that clock ticking. Second and five. I'm going to try and give it back to Forte again. Bouncing it. Cutting it up the middle and was able to truck whoever that was for another first down. First and goal. Let's see if we able to get in this end zone. We want to get in this end zone right here. We don't want no more field goals. Change the play to a run. We're going to give it back to Forte. Forte trucking and was able to punch it in the end zone for another touchdown. Forte, Alshon Jeffrey, uh, Kevin White. These guys have been huge for your boy. Even Color. Color missed on some errant throws and, you know what I mean, got sacked a few times. But he was able, you know, he didn't make any mistakes. He didn't make mistakes, and I like that from Cutler. I just want Cutler not to make mistakes, not to make crazy errant throws. If it's going to be a bad throw, just let it be a bad throw out of bounds somewhere. Don't throw it to the other team. So as you see, Carr standing in the pocket, going to the tight end. We was in man coverage that time. We was able to knock that down. Great defense right there. So as you see, it's second and ten. Let's see what they decide to do here. Trying to get to the middle backer. Watch the tight end. Beautiful route by Marcel Reese. Marcel Reese with a great route right there. You see his third and one. Car drops back to throw. No, sir. That should have been a pick. So that, that got to be picked. Ball, come on, ball. That, that. Ball, you got to catch that. So as you see, fourth and one, and the Raiders decide to go for it. They got to go for it. Trying to get back in this game. You know the computer, man. <laughs> they going to try and give it to Marcel Reese. And look at Marcel Reese. Marcel Reese said, this should have been running me. Long before the fourth quarter because I want it. So as you see, it's first and goal right here. Carr standing, standing tall in the pocket was able to deliver another strike to his tight end. And that's a touchdown for the Oakland Raiders. Man, the tight end has been killing me this game. You see, we was coming out to take a knee. That's pretty much the game, folks. As you see, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. You know, shout out to all the ladies with the tie ties. We love the tie ties. Support the tie ties. But as you see, we was able to come out here and get another victory. Mike Singletary is 2-2 two two on the season. Woo, it was a tough game against the Raiders, man. Really, it was 33-23. But, I mean, the Raiders actually did play tough. If I, I feel like if I didn't play smart, I probably could have lost this game. Because if I didn't punt in certain situations and Amari Cooper didn't muff that punt, we probably could have been in a bad situation. But we was able to pull out this victory. And as you see, what I'm going to show you guys who we have next. We're going to uh, sim, sim the rest of this week. Sim in the rest of week four is week five. And we have to play the Lions. Let's see how this game turned out. So we want to sim this. We're going to sim week five. Let's see if we can come out and get a... Can the computer get us a dub, man? Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I just want the computer to get us a dub. I mean, you're playing the Lions. I mean, I know you got to go against Calvin Johnson. No, we got to go against Calvin Johnson. We did end up simming. Oh, we played the Chiefs next. Excuse me. We played the Chiefs. Let's see what happened. The Chiefs blew us out too. And now we have the Lions. Now we have the Lions. We played the Chiefs. We lost again. So we 2-3 and three on the season. I'll see you guys next episode. If you're new here, bang the like button. I mean, if you're new here, bang the subscribe button. If you're a regular here, hit the like button. I'm your boy, LePaz57. Comment, like, subscribe. I appreciate all y'all. Y'all know how in my shit. Bang.